And now, with Siouxland's most accurate forecast, meteorologist Ethan Foreman. Looking like another nice sunny day and got to enjoy these conditions. It's so nice to have a little break from the rain. It sure is, but unfortunately there are still more days in the forecast that have rain than not. So we'll continue to watch that. But here's a look at our Wayne State College camera. You can see those trons, those trees blowing around a little bit today and we'll continue to see those breezy conditions over the next few days. Right now at 68 degrees in Sioux City, those winds are variable right now at six miles per hour. But notice that dew point pretty much hasn't moved from this morning at 49 degrees, making humidity at 50%. Temperatures across the region sitting in the mid 60s up to the north and east where we saw those showers earlier this morning, which I'll show you on that satellite and radar in a moment. However, as you head to the south where we haven't seen any clouds or any rain, it's in the 70s right now, including 74 in Tacoma, 72 in Neely and Norfolk. Wind speeds though, as you saw on that Wayne State College camera, are pretty strong between five and 20 miles per hour in some locations up to 16 right now in Tacoma as well as Orange City and Storm Lake and same number also in Esterville. Satellite and radar does show that batch of rain that moved through earlier this morning. You can see that that affected mainly our northern and eastern areas where some parts of the area like O'Brien County saw as much as two tenths of an inch of rainfall from this, but many of us are not going to see any rain for the rest of the day. You can see that has moved well off into our east and has fallen apart as it moved into central parts of Iowa toward Des Moines and now going to be moving away from us. Nothing but sunshine going forward for for the rest of your Tuesday and even as we head into tonight and Wednesday look like we're going to see a similar pattern with plenty of clear skies across the region until we get to Wednesday night. Then we watch this storm system here. You can see the clouds and the rain along together as we see those clear skies still continuing into early Thursday, but then by 8 or 9 a.m. you could see those clouds build right in pretty fast and we see that storm system start to arrive. You can see most of this first round is going to fall apart as it moves eastward, but still can't rule out some plain old rain showers on Thursday with another line behind it. But right now there is no severe threat in our area for Thursday. We'll continue to watch that carefully and give you more updates as we get closer. 77 degrees for today. Lots of sunshine and pretty seasonal conditions for your Tuesday. Dropping down to 46 tonight. Clear and cool for the overnight hours. Your 9 on 9 forecast shows that Wednesday seeing even better conditions, but it will be a little chilly to start as I just mentioned. Then those temperatures notice that we start to climb once we get past Friday after those bigger storm chances, but again, nothing severe. And again, we also have guest weather at the Cherokee Rodeo on Thursday with Chief Meteorologist Victor Perez. And then we see those temperatures cool down a little bit for Friday with more precip on the way for the weekend. But you may notice those highs are in the 80s, but look at those lows Ugh, in the mid 60s for overnight lows. That means it is going to be quite sticky out as we head into next week. So definitely if you like the sunshine and low humidity today and tomorrow are your chances because it is not going to last.